Last night, we were the first to tell you that a 30-year-old cold case finally was solved after a body in California back in 1993 was identified as a missing Malala woman named Patricia Skipple. Well, tonight we're hearing from her nephew whose DNA helped positively identify her. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy was the first to break this story and is here now live in studio to tell us about that conversation with Skipple's nephew. Connor. Well, Pete and Nora, Keith Jesperson, also known as the Happy Face Serial Killer, now has a new victim, Patricia Skipple, or as her family calls her, Patsy. After 30 years of searching, advanced DNA technology was able to identify her body found in Santa Clara County, California. Now, the match came for her nephew, Don Benton, who still lives here in the Pacific Northwest. Nearly three decades went by, and Don Benton always wondered what happened to his Aunt Patsy. She vanished in 1992 after never arriving at her mother's house. When I was growing up and she was kind of like the older sister. Memories of adventuring outdoors with Patsy and being guided by her warm heart stuck with Benton for all those years. Developed a relationship with her pretty close. In fact, uh, when she got married in 1970, that I was the ring bearer in her wedding. In 2020, Benton got a DNA test kit for Christmas to research his family history. After submitting his DNA, he got a call from a detective in Santa Clara County, California, asking him to allow his results to become public on a database called GEDmatch. Oh, I kind of was hesitant to do it because I, I didn't know why they wanted me to uh, put my DNA on public. And she didn't really give me a lot of information about what it was for, you know, because it was a, a criminal case. Benton says he agreed, but that moment was a pivotal one in the search for Patsy. Last week, his DNA matched an unidentified body found in 1993 down in rural Santa Clara County. So your curiosity with your family's history led to the discovery of Patsy after 30 years. I mean, what is that like for you that your DNA was used to identify her? Yeah, that, I mean, that, you know, it, it's still kind of, uh, kind of overwhelming, you know, to find out that, that she didn't just disappear. She was murdered and, and, uh, and left and was unidentified, you know, for 29 years. That's a long time, you know, to, to just be a Jane Doe. When Patsy's body was found in 1993, investigators couldn't identify her. They gave her the name of Blue Pacheco in reference to what she was wearing and where she was found. In 2006, Keith Jesperson, commonly known as the Happy Face Serial Killer, admitted to sexually assaulting and murdering an unidentified woman and dumping her body off the same rural Santa Clara County Highway where Blue Pacheco was found. More than 15 years later, the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office says Blue Pacheco's real name is Patricia Skipple. For Benton, he says he's happy his 2020 Christmas present was able to find Aunt Patsy. I just want to say that I'm very thankful that they were able to get a match and, and to finally identify her, you know, that's a, that's a long time to go without having, you know, an identification. Pete and Nora Benton says his family is still searching for another family member who went missing two years before Patsy. He says his sister Marty Benton Evans disappeared in 1990 and hasn't been found since. Now for Jesperson, he's still sitting in Oregon State Penitentiary serving multiple life sentences for other murders he's confessed to. Live in the studio, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. All right.